has been on our show for nearly four years. She is still the one that people ask us the most about. I just had a conversation about her at mm -hmm. Patio Palooza a few nights ago. Well, you've seen her do live psychic readings on the show, but rarely do we get to see what a recent audience got to experience. And here to help us understand how she communicates with the afterlife, we mentioned, we uh, welcome Jody Levon. Hi, Jody, how are you? Hey, Jody. So you're. You were here, we had a live show a couple weeks ago. You did a, a reading with, I think it was Carson Cressley. Was that the day that yes, we did yeah. that? And then afterwards, some of the audience members stuck around and you basically sat there with them. We had a camera there and it, 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 there was a lot of things that kind of happened that transpired. There were a lot of things that transpired, So absolutely. this is called a gallery reading. And how does this work? You're just seeing things pop from all yep. over the place? It's like 18 television shows going off at once. And I just go where my energy's drawn. I don't pick it, it picks me. So what's interesting about this, you guys, is a lot of times when Jody's here to do live readings, it's sometimes hard because time is an issue for us here to kind of see what's popping. And it also takes people sometimes a couple minutes to connect with what she's saying. So this way, you're gonna get to the hits right away. So I'm interested in this. First up, um, you connected with a spirit who's very familiar to Twin Cities Live. And this, this got pretty emotional, so take a look. Okay, so now I've got this feeling of a man that crossed over. He's got, oh, that kind of typical when somebody, like the um, little bit of hair right here. You know, this is before people maybe shaved it all off. So a little bit of hair right here. It looks like it had been darker. Um, he's got a mustache, but part of the mustache looks a little bit strange on one side. I had a friend that just recently passed away. Okay, what was going on with in here? Was there some digestive stuff or something growing in here? Not that I can recall, no. Oh. But the belly was filled with something. The belly was filled with something because he... Yeah, don't say anything okay. else. Okay, yes. don't say anything so else. So he's showing, uh, he's showing me filling with water. And he's showing me this. So I... Now, I, I, this is familiar to me because I believe I've even met this person mm -hmm. associated with this show. Okay, so what was happening there and who were you seeing? Well, I was seeing who that lovely lady sees him as, because mm -hmm. I don't know him very well, but it was Mark Stoneberg. Mm -hmm. So he has a strong connection with somebody on our show here. Mark Stoneberg uh, is mar was married to Nancy Stoneberg, who's a fitness expert on our show, and he recently passed away in Mexico. And it's been a very difficult thing, obviously for her family and for a lot of people who know Nancy and love Nancy. And Kim happens to be a very good friend of Nancy's. Okay, so how did that happen? So how did I pick up on this? Yeah. I just started seeing this person. It's like he grabbed hold of me, these really beautiful sparkling eyes, and he started just showing me these pictures of him and who he was, and I saw it like on that screen in my head. I just saw that only it was a little bit watery, which it sometimes is, but this time even more so. And I could feel the water building in my belly. Okay. Did you, did you get anything from him that he's okay? He's or? totally okay. He's totally okay, and of course, I'm sure he'd rather be here with his people, mm -hmm. but he's loving them from there, and there was nothing in me that felt like, oh, he's in pain, he's scared, very peaceful. Even now, I can feel like I'm getting the chills. Wow, and I wanna to mention too, we did talk to Nancy about that before we brought it up on the show, and she was perfectly okay with us talking about it. Um, you also took a, a question about, somebody about some pennies. So let's take a look at that. My dad died like suddenly, mm -hmm. and um, we all, my whole family thinks that he leaves pennies around for us. Oh, that's totally true. Is it? People in spirit leave pennies around. Like Sometimes dimes. Time. You could ask him to up the ante. <laughs> 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 totally, you should ask him to up the ante. Just go, how about some dimes? Or maybe a hundred dollar bill, but just start with the dimes. <laughs> so what other signs are you seeing from people? Oh, people, spirits move shoes. They turn water off and on, a lot of electrical stuff. Things, go, toys go off and on. Lights that you're sure you turned off aren't off, garage doors open. You can, the license plates. Sometimes license plates, you can like see their initials constantly in it. It's because you're more aware and somehow they get a hold of you while you're driving, kind of tilt your head that way. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. Okay, and, and we have we have another uh, sound bite that we want to play right now of what happened. that kind of demonstrates how sometimes spirits can see very clearly. This person reminds me of somebody in the 40s that might have worn a hat, like the way that they dressed was really important to them. Not overly important, but they cared about the way that they looked and they cared very much about the way they presented themselves. This was, there's a privateness about this man, okay? Okay. And I don't mean like big bad secrets, although this person saw a lot. Yeah. Um, I do feel like he kept some things very much to himself. Your grandfather would have been very embarrassed for anyone to know that he thought other women were pretty too. This was one of the things that he felt ashamed of. Everything she said was spot on. And my, I mean, my grandfather, he was a police officer for so many years and very, very proud. So I, I mean, when I think about pictures of him, he was in uniform. So it was either the policeman's hat or um, pictures from when he was in the service. 
Okay, so you're describing these things so clearly. So what exactly are you seeing when you're sensing someone around? So you know, remember those old fashioned projectors and they come through like that? That's what I started to see in this beautiful man and I believe his name was Harold. There were other people, I said Harold. Somebody else said Harold. Somebody, I have a Harold, I have a Harold. And I said, very dapper, very tall, very proud, has seen you know, a lot of death, yeah. a lot of really big tragic things, but very proud and really had a message for her about being brave and it was, he was really cool. That's really interesting. So you can really, um, that's that's what Jody hey, does. Quickly, before we go, you're looking around right now. How many people do you think you're just kind of seeing? Yeah, where are they? Here? What are they oh, doing? Oh, hundreds. And I meet the nicest dead people. Wow, <laughs> that's so good. <laughs> and I'm again, nice. you guys can make whatever decision you want about Jody. We present the information to her. You can take what you want from it. This is what you get. But we're asked about her a lot, and so we love to have her coming come back on. Thanks so much, Jody. Thank it's nice to see you. And Jody has an event later this summer that includes dinner and a discussion about the paranormal. And you can find a link to Jody's website with more details at our website, TwinCitiesLive.com. Just click on fun. Now, our audience is sitting there going, what's going to happen to us after the show? <laughs>